Hello all, I am Siddharth Kaul and I welcome you to Edupedia World. In this video, we are going to look into matrices and arrays. MATLAB is designed to work with whole matrices and arrays. Each and every variable defined in MATLAB are multidimensional arrays, no matter the type of data that is inputted in that. It can be float, it can be integer, it can be string, it can be character, it can be anything. There are many ways in which we can create an array. By using spaces between the elements, we can create the row matrix. Here I will create a 1 cross 3 row matrix with elements 1, 2, 3. Similarly, I am going to create 1 cross 4 row matrix with elements 1, 2, 3 and 4. We can create column matrix by using semicolon between the elements. Here I am going to create a column matrix with the elements 1, 2, 3. Similarly, I am going to create another column matrix with elements 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is how we can create a 3 cross 1 and 4 cross 1 column matrices. Using the combination of spaces and semicolons, we can create rectangular and square matrices. Here I will create a rectangle matrix of 3 cross 2 with elements 1, 2, 1, 2 and 1, 2. Similarly, I am going to create a square matrix 3 cross 3 with elements 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3. We can create row matrices using functions ones and zeros. By using ones, we create a row matrix with all the elements as one. Using zeros, we create a row matrix with the, all the elements as zeros. Using function 1, we can create column matrix with all the elements as 1 and using function zeros, we can create column matrix with all the elements as zeros. Again, using 1s and zeros, we can create both rectangular matrices and square matrices. Here I am creating a rectangle matrix 3 by 2 with all the elements as 1 and now I will create a 0 matrix, 0 square matrix of 2 by 2 using the function zeros. MATLAB allows us to process all the values in the matrix using a single arithmetic operation or a function. So in case if we want to add something to all the elements, we can simply use an add operation. If we want to subtract something from all the elements, we can use the subtraction operation. We can even multiply something to all the elements. Like for example, we will here be multiplying by 2. We can even do the square operation square operation performed by dot raised to the power 2. It will square all the elements in the matrix. We can even pass this matrix to the function such as sine, cos, tan, etc. We can even find transpose of a matrix by performing the transpose operation as shown. Concatenation is a process of joining two or more matrices. Square brackets while defining the array are the concatenation operator. The first matrix that we created was by concatenating individual elements. Now I am going to show you how to concatenate uh, 
matrices there are two ways in which we can concatenate matrices first we arrange them side by side keeping the number of rows constant such as this or we can concatenate on top and bottom using a semicolon such as this it depends on how we want the final output that will decide what kind of concatenation we need to perform in the next video we are going to take a look at array indexing thanks for watching